and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out A Man Called Tiger restored and released on Blu-ray by Eureka Video. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. I am so happy that Eureka Video have put this Jimmy Wang Yu classic out there because it's a movie that I really enjoyed even in its shorter version. I've had it twice before, of course I'm going to share that with you. And the first was a video that I picked up probably about 25 years ago. Uh, around 98 or 99 when I was working out in the States uh, at summer camp and I find this very loosely covered videotape uh, as part of the Embassy Home Video, Embassy Home Entertainment VHS. Uh, you can see on the back there there's some stickers for its pricing and things like that. Video Port, uh, probably up in Maine I picked it up, maybe in New York, I'm not too sure exactly, but it, it was a 70 minute cut of the movie and I knew, I just knew that couldn't be right. Golden Harvest wouldn't put out a 70 minute movie. Low Wave certainly wouldn't direct something so short. And to be honest, I couldn't see Jimmy Wang Yu wanting to star in something that was pretty much a waste of time if it was only gonna be 70 minutes in length. But regardless, I still enjoyed what was on here. It was a very different type of Jimmy Wang Yu movie. Now later on, of course, when the DVD market came in, I managed to get my hands on this legendary collection Joy Seals DVD release and I thought okay it's given me the option of its original language, English subtitles, this has got to be the longer version, this has got to be the uncut version of this movie. Alas it only ran for 76 minutes uh, so it wasn't really that much different but the chance to be able to see it for the first time in its original language option was just fantastic and made me like the film even more. There's quite a lot to like here. So this of course was initially supposed to be the third collaboration between director Lo Wei and Bruce Lee after The Big Boss and Fist of Fury. But of course, as he does with everyone, Lo Wei fell out with Bruce Lee or the other way around, I would say more so. Uh, and they clashed and Bruce Lee went off uh, to make and direct uh, The Way of the Dragon. Uh, whereas Lo Wei was stuck at Golden Harvest with this project ready to go and who else would be on hand uh, and be as much of an international star I suppose than the great Jimmy Wang Yu. So this was something of a different type of movie uh, all shot around in and around Kyoto in Japan which is what gave it Definitely a whole different flavor and that stood out a wee bit more to me on the DVD version uh, The video looked pretty cool I mean it definitely let me see that they were aiming for something else with this But when I got to see it on DVD in its widescreen format you could see much more you could see that this was really going to be a Beautiful movie if it ever got the restoration that it deserved and now thanks to Eureka Classics we get the chance to see this in a, in a beautiful uh, 2K restoration, which I am so excited for, like so excited for. But not only that, this is giving us two versions. It's giving us the version here on the video and DVD, but also the uncut Hong Kong version, rarely seen outside of Hong Kong. Uh, I think there's probably about 20, 25 minutes of a difference or something like that. Let me see, 112 minutes in its lengthiest version. That's quite a jump from 70 minutes on the video and 76 minutes on the DVD. But just, oh so, my God, I cannot wait to get stuck into this. And to be able to see it 
for how it was meant to be to see the gorgeous cinematography from Chris Chen uh, who also shot the likes of the Big Boss Fist of Fury and most other low way Golden Harvest movies um, as well as I believe Jackie Chan's Young Master and Dragon Lord uh, so there is actually quite a big big team behind this uh, you have Jimmy Wang Yu in front of the camera James Tian uh, Tian Feng who also played um, in Young Master but there's a lot more and I do believe if I can remember correctly there's a young Lam Ching Ying, Chen Yut Sang and a few other familiar faces that pop up throughout. There's also a great Japanese cast in there uh, so this I cannot wait to see as I say fully restored fucking so excited for it. Another great cover here by Darren Wheeling. Um, I, I don't it, for me, when we saw this online, it was a real bold burnt orange and that's not really coming through on this printed version. It's a lot duller looking. Um, on the back though, there is more of an orange to it, but this here is a lot darker. And I know when I put that on and we see that backlight from the TV on the menu, that's really going to pop and I will be even more impressed there. But it's a pretty cool setup and it is again designed much like all the other uh, early Golden Harvest releases from Eureka which I just adore. But I did not think for a second that this was going to come our way and I'm really really glad that it did. So with this special Blu-ray edition we get a limited edition O-card slip case featuring new artwork by Darren Wheeling. A limited edition reversible poster featuring original poster artwork, 1080p HD presentation on Blu-ray from a 2K restoration of the rarely seen uncut Hong Kong theatrical release version of this film, fantastic, 1080p HD presentation on Blu-ray from a 2K restoration of the re-release version of the film, which is what I'm guessing is here on the video and DVD, uh, we've got original Mandarin and classic English dub audio options on both cuts of the film, fantastic, Optional English subtitles, newly translated. We've got audio commentary on the Hong Kong version by Frank Jang and Michael Wirth. Uh, audio commentary on the export version by Mike Leder and Darna Venema. Uh, a feature called Cutting Tiger Hidden Subtitles, a brand new video essay by Brandon Bentley. Do you know what sadness means? And because I have your love, music videos prepared exclusively for this release, fantastic. Uh, something a bit different there. Text list opening, reversible sleeve featuring original poster artwork, a trailer, plus a limited edition collector's booklet on new, featuring new writings on the film by writer and critic James Oliver, and a short essay by Brandon Bentley about the versions of the film presented on this release. Wow, I mean, what a packed, packed Blu-ray release from Eureka Video. That is just fan friggin -tastic. Region B only, mind you, uh, nothing on Region A there, but this is pretty damn exciting. Let's get stuck in, I can't wait. Okay, sliding that out there, we have Darren's cover popping out. Oh, geez Louise. Uh, and inside we have got poster and booklet on one side with the disc on the other. If I can remember correctly, this is a pretty stylish Jimmy Wang Yu movie. I think he looks fantastic in this even in the lesser quality versions you can see that uh he's like got a different suit for every other scene everyone looks very 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 smart in their uh, costume design i love this artwork on the back i'm definitely keeping this this is absolutely one of my favorite posters for this movie very japanese and its flavor absolutely gorgeous definitely getting that in there fantastic um yeah, I mean, there's there's really a lot going on here. And some of the fight scenes, from what I can remember, are absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Uh, and they're from the get-go. Like, that movie starts, you're in the fight. That movie ends, you're done with another big fight. But this is wonderful. Fantastic poster there. And even seeing that much larger than the cover, it already looks better. Well done, Darren. Gorgeous piece. And on the other side, oh yes, on the other side, one of my all-time favorite pieces of this film. That is gorgeous. You have a cable car fight as well, which is a great stunt. It's questionable, but it's all in one, one shot where Jimmy Wang Yu falls from the cable car, lands in the water while the shot's holding, and he resurfaces to swim away. 
It's pretty tam cool, except it does look like a dummy falling, and it could have been a weighted dummy that they hold. Anyway, you'll know when you see it. Um, but this is fantastic. That's gorgeous. That I would definitely put into a frame. Love that. But yeah, the movie overall, beautifully done, beautifully shot. Uh, cannot wait to see that in its 2K restoration. My God. Front to the book, and on the back here, another cool poster for a man called Tiger. I did notice, however, the DVD is called um the man called tiger uh so you may get it with either but this release obviously a man called tiger let me get stuck into this book though i'm very excited for it um but just a great movie all round. i think jimmy wang Yu is very handsome throughout it he has this kind of 007 no nonsense kind of suave characteristic about him throughout the whole thing it has the style of a Japanese Yakuza movie, even like an Italian gangster movie. It has that kind of, from that era, has that feel for it. And I think Lo Wei did a pretty damn good job. Even with those shorter versions, there was some plot holes, which I'm really hoping are filled in here with this extended uh, version. Fantastic. Oh, can't wait to read that. Really excited for it. Really want to get that into a, a frame because it is gorgeous uh, i am going to go now very excitingly check out this uncut hong kong version for the first time and everything that's on here come right back to let you know what i think so just back after checking out the eureka video blu-ray release of jimmy wang Yu's a man called tiger and my god what an impressive release to be able to see this film 2k restored in two different versions and it's uncut one at that although i say that very lightly because there's a special feature here that calls me a liar on that one uh, but to see that full uncut version for the first time was fantastic and yes the movie did make a little more sense because of it which i'm very very grateful for now i have no need to go back to that video or dvd ever again because this was just friggin Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The restorations on both prints looked absolutely stunning. I did watch both of them. This has taken me a long time to get through because I watched both uh, versions of the movie, the uncut theatrical version and the export version, which was shorter. That said, both uh, audio commentaries seem to, be, have, uh, seem to be linked to the extended version, to the longer version, which I was quite happy with. It was great to hear both of their views uh, from Frank Cheng and Mike Wirth to Mike Leader and Arna Venema. Uh, both of them having their different uh, approaches and different views on this movie. Uh, of course, you have Frank Cheng and Michael Wirth who were both behind the Clones of Bruce Lee documentary and they're going at it with a view on how Bruce Lee may have approached this uh, as, as well as different other views throughout it of course uh, but it's a very different audio commentary to what Mike Leder and Arna Venema uh, deliver with theirs which is a lot more energy behind it I have to say both worth well worth checking out of course that means you've got to get through this movie three times at least before you even hit the uh, export version which has the shorter running time there then you have the Cutting Tiger Hidden Subtitles the video essay from Brandon Bentley which was quite interesting so here we have uh, a reveal that the original edit of the movie was in fact even longer yet again uh, and uh, due to the finding of some subtitling pages there uh, Brandon Bentley delivers this piece that voices over the missing scenes let's just say uh, adding in a few extra minutes to the uncut version that's already available there it was an interesting piece ran for just under seven minutes in length but it lets you see just what missing pieces were there from the original uh, release theatrical version in hong kong then you have two uh, music videos that are well put together and made especially for this release uh sung by francis yip uh composed by james wong and written by the great joseph ku the uh prolific uh, composer and writer Joseph Koo. Uh, so you have two music videos, Do You Know What Sadness Means and Because I Have Your Love. You'll hear these 
throughout the movie um, but this is them put together with the official soundtrack I suppose and they look pretty damn good I have to say uh, then you have a textless opening uh, that runs for just over two minutes in length and this is that introduction to Jimmy Wang Yu's character when he's just beating the shit out of everyone and anything that gets in his way it's quite fun and then you have a trailer quite a lengthy trailer at just under four minutes in length completely unrestored absolutely well worth checking this out before you get into those stunning 2k restorations i would say though don't watch the whole trailer at its sort of almost four minutes uh, running time because you'll give away too much of the movie watch at least 60 seconds of that allow that quality to sink in then go into either of those prints and just be wowed with that cleanup job this movie looks friggin stunning as i said before chris jang uh with cinematographer on it the locations around kyoto and japan are beautiful but also those costumes these dapper looking men that are kicking ass throughout this jimmy wang yu i don't think has ever looked better in any movie this is absolutely his 007 movie forget about the man from hong kong this is the one. Uh, but so much fun. The fights were incredible. And again, to see them in full HD in that restoration was amazing. They're absolutely friggin' brutal. Uh, and Jim Sien does a great job as Jimmy's friend. Anyway, for me, hands down, a double thumbs up. Should be in your collection if you're a fan of Jimmy Wang Yu or Hong Kong cinema. But this early Golden Harvest classic is absolutely well worth picking up. I'm super glad it's in my collection. Coming soon from Eureka Video. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.